It's a study by Yuri Dorogov, and uh, I love this puzzle so much. Now, obviously, black has two queens, but the king is in trouble, and a lot of you got the first move right. That is simply to, for the knight to go to c7, give, give a check to the king, and uh, the next move is forced. Queen takes knight, and then comes the critical point. You push the pawn and give a check to the king, and now the king steps forward to c4 square. And if you do notice, the king doesn't actually have too many squares to travel to. It can travel to b3 and can travel to d5. And this is where things get very, very spicy. The queen comes to g8, as many of you saw. And black's best, actually, is for the queen to go to f7 and just give herself away. But that really doesn't save anything because after queen takes queen, and once the queen comes to d5, it's going to be a winning king and pawn ending for white. But this is the key point, and this is why it gets, is basically in my top, top puzzle ever. It's because black will actually play queen to d5, blocking the check, and here it comes. It's so beautiful. The king will move to c2. Black, you know, white completely forgets about the queen and says, take it, take the queen. And so black says, yes, thank you very much. And now here it comes. The pawn comes to e4, taking away the last square that the king can go to. And just take a look at those two black queens. They cannot do a single thing to prevent the pawn coming to b3 and giving a wonderful checkmate.